Salutations and welcome back to Let's Play Abe's Exodus. This is Edgar. In the previous installment, we were taken up to speed with the plot, and we were introduced to the basics of the game. We are about to advance the plot, and we will do so using the five Mudokans remaining in this tunnel. Our objective is to bring them here and have all these valves turned in sync. They can be found past the guard. Be sure to sneak. Do you remember the five Mudokans that accompanied Abe through the desert to reach the Necron Mines? They can be found on the screen above, and heck knows what they even bothered coming here for, because now they're chipping away at the floor uselessly. Mind not to reason why. Let's lead them over to those valves. To get Mudokans to drop down pits, just position yourself on the far end, they won't jump over. Same thing here. Once again be sure to sneak past the sleeping guard unless you want to get shot. And now just walk to the furthest valve and turn that shit in sync with the other five. Work. Probably bad for you. What a wuss. I hear you. Look, Abe, we came all this way just to help you. Well, look, it's not unreasonable that we are just a little bit thirsty. Now, is it? Yeah, but in case you didn't notice, we just walked across a desert. So back off, Stitch Lips. But, no. I tried to stop them. But they drank the brew anyway. Lots of it. Then they got all sick looking. But they still wanted more. That's when I figured this whole thing out. Brew is made from our bones! This is bad. What do I do now? What do you do? How about leading us out of here? Uh, okay, follow me. Okay. But. Oh! Oops, I forgot he was blind. Help me rescue the rest of them. I can't believe it. That's him. It's that aim guy. Promotion. Here I come. Freeze! And we are now in Tunnel 2. In the comments section of the previous video, Sergeant 363 asked about the board, and what it meant by 5 employees remaining. To answer your questions, no, enemies are not counted, only Mudokans. And as for the 5, you just watch them all drink themselves stupid with brew. We will encounter them again soon. And speaking of brew, here are some empty bottles. That of course means a secret area. Anybody else really like that little jingle that plays upon locating a secret, because it puts this really strange grin on my face. This is a freebie secret. Have the lot follow you to the right. And there's the portal, let's free this group. Hop over the small gap and jump into the bucket. I think I'll start calling those buckets, it makes a bit more sense. It will bring you back to the start of Tunnel 2, so roll your way back to where the empty bottles were, and climb up instead. Proceed to the right, but prepare yourself, because one of those flying guards is hovering about, and you're going to have to make a dash to escape his clutches. You'll need to make a jump halfway, and you'll need to roll into the exit. Yeah, 
you can go into a roll from a run, I just screwed up. The bucket you land in will place you near a door, but if you enter it, you're skipping some moo dockings. See those empty bottles over there? A secret is nearby. Make a running leap to the left from this platform to land in a secret bucket. Oh shit I missed the bucket. That Moo Dokken face looks very much like a troll face at the moment. Let's give this another go. Much better. Mind the two guards taking shots at you from the background. You can hide behind scenery to avoid getting hit. Head through this door and you yourself will be in the background. The two guards are protecting a door, we are going to have to make a run for it. You can try mind control but it's a bit awkward. It's easiest if you lure at least one of the guards to the left screen. If you can manage it without getting shot, then good job, and now you can have some fun here. Time to get the big guy to handle business. This British overlord has assumed control. It has assumed control. Well what have we here? Is that a delicious looking landmine I see? I don't know if it's functional, this guard, your job is to find out, your British overlord demands it. Excellent, that's two birds killed with one stone. Let's proceed through the lower doorway. Three freebie moo dockens here. And into the bucket. The bucket will spit you out just above where I died last time. Now that we are back here, let's head through the door. It's that flying bastard again. Let's get the big guy to handle things. This British overlord has assumed control. It has assumed control. This thing can drop bombs. Let's try them out on these guns. Spiffy, spiffy. My assessment is at the Silly guard, your pathetic bullets cannot stop the British Empire. Get colonized, colonized, bitch, bitch. Drills are you say, you say, not a problem, it's this flying fucking problem. Make your way to the drills at once. What are you waiting for? Coward, get going, get going, get going, get going. Another guard right for colonization. Have a bomb courtesy of the British Empire. Very good, very good, very good. Now Mr. Flying Earth, I have no further use Be gone from my sight and my sight and my sight. Looks like the way is clear. If you were observant, you probably noticed the empty bottles where the last guard was introduced to a bomb. Secret area. Jump into the bucket, and it will spit you out on the ledge above the bottles. Just climb your way down and head to the left for four freebie mudokens, the last ones in tunnel too. No obstacles whatsoever, it doesn't get any more simple than this. And that's tunnel 2 cleared out. Climb back up and proceed to the left. Well look who we've found, it's the five Moo Dokkans that crossed the desert with Abe. They've all had their fill of brew and are sick as hell. Oh, yeah. uh... You can't get them to do anything at all, they'll just groan from your voice. Useless buggers. Head to the left. You will find the bucket that leads to Fico Depot, and accessing this bucket will prompt a change to Disc 2 in the PlayStation version of the game, so in a way it marks the halfway point of the game. The bucket is inert, and will require the use of these valves in sync to activate, and since the Moodokens on the screen to the right are sick, we will have to cure them first, but we have no way of doing this yet. To cure them, we are going to have to tackle the Madanchi and Madomo vaults, and that means we have to get out of the Necrom mines. Since there's jack shit we can do here for the moment, let's proceed up from this room.
You'll find two buckets. One of them is marked with a two, and will return you all the way to the start of this tunnel. Since we didn't miss any Mudokans, we have no need to return there. The other bucket will take you to Z-Boiler, and we need to head through Z-Boiler to proceed. So let's hop into the bucket. Above us is a new enemy. That thing is called a slog, and slogs are basically mouths with four legs. They're impossible to mind control, you can't hide from them, and they can even detect when you mind control something, and will promptly attack it. They only have a melee attack, but they run very fast, and naturally, you don't want them anywhere near you as they are an instant kill. As you can see there are also slog puppets. Don't be fooled by their small size, they're just as dangerous. At least, they move very slow in comparison to the adult slogs. We're safe from them down here for the moment, but they are going to hop down to attack us, and we are going to have to fry them with an electrical field. Bloody ouch and shit. Let's have another go. Okay we got the fast moving adult slogs, so the hard part is over. We need to fry the slog puppies as well, and I feel kind of bad doing this. I think slog puppies are adorable. I am making a sad face. Anyway, proceed to the right and turn the valve, then step through the now open door. You may notice the flipper above moved. That's for later. We have passed through Z-Boiler and have reached Tunnel 3. Tunnel 3 will introduce you to the mechanic of throwing crap around, and to start with, we are given drops. Jump and touch the hanging sack of them to knock one out, and roll over to it to pick up nine of them. Pardon the fart, I pressed the wrong key. With rocks, you will be able to safely set off landmines from a distance. Throwing is an odd mechanic, you face a direction, wind up the throw, and then pick a direction. The arc you will pitch the rocket depends on the direction you press. You can throw items while crouching, and this will be needed on the next screen. Be sure to pull the levers to open the door. Never mind then, I was thinking of a different screen. Let's take out the mines. You can see some empty bottles where the mines were. There is a secret area, and it's underneath this screen. Climb down from the right side of the pit to access it. Ignore the bucket, head into the doorway. The bird portal is down here, and there is a bucket we will need to use to reach some moo dockens. You might notice there are more empty bottles. There is a secret within this secret, but for the moment let's use the bucket. Three Moodokens up there, note the grey skin. The grey skin means that they are blind. I have mentioned blind Moodokens already, as they are a pain in the bum to rescue because they can't see where the heck they're going. We're going to have to do some babysitting. This lever will alternate the flippers up the top, and will also briefly lower the one down on this level. There is another lever on the screen to the right, and it will briefly lower the flipper above. There is a lethal drop to the right side of this screen, so if you don't take care, the blind Moodokins will blunder over it. Oops. That could have been absolutely disastrous. Hard part is over. They walk into walls a fair bit. Cut them some slack, they can't see. Hold up, I forgot about the landmine. Wait. Okay. 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 There. Now failure won't equal a death. 
follow me. Okay, okay, okay. And down they go. Let us follow suit. Get them onto the bottom level. Oh yeah. Ew. Follow me. Okay, okay. okay. You might be tempted to open the portal, but if you do that now, you're leaving four Mudokans out to dry. Lead these three to the left. Follow me. Okay, okay. okay. There are four valves here, and you need the blind Mudokans to help turn them in sync. Luckily they will stop in front of the valves. The valves will lower an elevator, hop on and ride it to the top. This group of four is very easy to miss. Set this group free. Now ride the elevator back down and lead the three Mudokans you left here to the right. The bird portal will leave because of where you enter the screen. Don't panic, just hop in the bucket and make your way back to the screen to reset the bastard. And that's all the Mudokans in Tunnel 3 rescued. Head through the door. There's no way to climb up from here. But the bucket will launch you up to the top, so hop in. Roll along the top to reach the door, and head in once you reach it. Simply roll through this odd looking area. We have more mines to detonate. If you run out of rocks, just smack the sack to make another batch of nine fall out. More mines to blow up. Mind the drill. I've run out of rocks again, but that should be enough mines removed. We need to go forward down the bottom right to progress, so let's pull the lever to deactivate the drill first. As for the two remaining mines, you can easily jump over them. There are more mines to destroy on the screen below, but don't worry because there is another sack we can collect rocks from. Bad throw. Oh fucking hell what a slip up that was. Remember boys and girls, safety first. I like it when mines take out other mines, saves a little bit of time. Two groups of mines to the left, but we can skip one of them. Be sure to pull the lever to open the door. Just take out the lower group, you can jump right over the top three. Bollock shit. Damn it all, I've run out of rocks again. Just so you know, you can't get any from the sack unless you have zero. I didn't even need to get rocks, I can just jump over the last mine. Well, at least I am fully loaded. Head through the door. Alright, if you missed the earlier secret, this is the place the game will formally introduce you to the blind Moodokin. Hi. Follow me. Okay. 
you're well aware of how they function, and the developers were even nice enough to place this one in a room with no hazards. Yes I know, he ran into the wall. Cut him some slack, he can't see. Into the doorway. There is only one Moodokan in this area, and there are a number of active drills. The bird portal is at the far end, but luckily you are able to disable every last drill, so this area is not a huge exercise in frustration. There's the portal. Jump above it and pull the lever, that will open the door the blind Mudokan was behind. Head back to collect him. Hi. You won't follow me. Okay. It's a first world problem, that blind Mudokans will not run if they are following you and you run. You'll have to wait for him to walk the distance. And that's Tunnel 4 clear. Moving right along. Tunnel 5 is where things will start to get tricky. It's filled with blind Moodokans, and you're going to have to both deactivate a bunch of drills and remove a bunch of mines to help the blind Moodokans reach safety. He won't be able to get past the drills until they're off, but let's get the mine out of the way. His portal is here. But let's see about those drills. Hi. You won't follow me. Okay. Now that they're deactivated, let's get him into the portal. That has brought an elevator up, but there's no reason for us to go down yet. We need to take another Moodokan with us. He can be found to the right, behind the group of three mines. If you have no rocks left to get rid of them, he can help you out. A whole sack of them over there if you need some ammunition. Well that was a dreadful throw. Let's get him onto the elevator. Wait. Okay. Work. Now we can proceed downwards. His portal is here, so go ahead and free him. That will also open the door. Nowhere else available, let's head inside. Did you spot the bottles? They're to the right of the now closed door. You might think the secret is above that small platform in the center, but you can't jump high enough to reach the ledge the stuff is trickling down from. You'll be able to access the secret from the screen to the left. Be careful with these two drills, they are not synchronized. What you need to do here is reach that upper left platform safely. Once you make it there, you can take a running jump to the right and then climb up to reach the secret. A regular jump won't make it, you'll just bump your head and get murdered by the lower drill. Give this hook a pull to stop that drill to the left, we'll be going there later. For now, head to the right. Two freebie Moodokins on this wayward screen. If you checked the board, you would have noted that there are seven Moodokins remaining in Tunnel 5. We are going to free all seven of them at the same time. This is the bird portal we will use for the job. For the moment, just make your way past the drills here. The levers to turn them off are above, but we can't get up there. We will have to lower the elevator first. Make your way to the left. Left once again. 
There is an elevator to the left side that we can raise using this lever, but this lever will also activate the above drill, so in the interests of not murdering the shit out of those two poor blind Moodokans, let's move them to safety first. Wait. Okay. Now that they're out of harm's way, let's use the lever. Naturally, you want to ride this elevator down. You'll pass by a bucket on your way, take note of it. Oh dear. What a frightful scenario the poor Mudokan is in. Get him over here quickly before he ends up shot. Wait for the guard to move below the drills. He's cursing me from beyond the grave, whatever. Wait. Head to the right, but leave the blind Moodokan where he is. To the right is the exit, but we want to climb up from the left and make our way to that bucket we saw earlier. Pop inside. It will spit you out all the way at the top, so proceed right and pull the lever. That will lower the elevator, and we are now able to reach all of the remaining Moodokans in this area. Return to the elevator and ride it to the top. Hi, it will follow me. Okay. Bring this Moodokan over to the other two sitting here. That's three secured. Let's ride the elevator up and head to the right. We can now deactivate the drills. No need to move the Mudokan below, he's right near the portal where he is. If you're observant, you can see a trickle coming from the right wall. Climb your way up, and you will be in the area with the remaining three Mudokans. Jump to the left side and roll under the drill. Giving the hook a pull will deactivate all the drills on the screen. Now we can safely get these Moodokins down with the rest of them. Take note of this drill however. If you did not pull the hook on the right, it would still be active and would fuck up your attempt at rescuing these three. We now have all seven remaining Moodokans in this tunnel on the same floor, and that floor also happens to be the one with the bird portal. Go and get them all heading to the right, and open the portal for them when they are there. And with that, Tunnel 5 has been cleared out. To proceed, you want to ride the elevator down, and hop over the gap. You'll find the door leading to the next area there, but I will wrap this video up once we arrive. Alright, we are here. This has been Edgar, and as always, thank you all for your patronage.